let's take a look at the mini torso that's included in your anatomy kit. This may be particularly helpful for you when you're learning the basic location of the various structures within the body and the orientation of those different organs within each of the cavities. So when we're looking at the torso here, the first thing you want to make sure that you're aware of is that this is your patient's right side and this is your patient's left side. It's easy when you're looking straight at a patient to mix up your lefts and rights, so it's important that you get those straight. This muscle right here is the diaphragm. The cavity above the diaphragm is your thoracic cavity, which can be subdivided into the pleural cavity, which includes the lungs, and the pericardial cavity, which houses the heart. In addition, there's a small space above the heart called the mediastinum, which includes the major vessels coming off of the heart, as well as the thymus, which we do not see on this model. Below the diaphragm is your abdominal pelvic cavity, which is separated from the thoracic cavity, but is continuous throughout this space. Within the abdominal pelvic cavity, we subdivide that into quadrants. So if we drew a line straight down the middle and straight across, we would have your right upper quadrant, your left upper quadrant, your right lower quadrant, and your left lower quadrant. We can also subdivide that further into nine regions. Now within your thoracic cavity, as I said, you have your lungs. So on the surface of these lungs would be a membrane called the visceral pleura. Lining the overall cavity would be a membrane called the parietal pleura. If we remove these lungs, then this overall cavity would be lined by that parietal pleura. There would also be a loose sac around the heart, and that membrane would be the parietal pericardium. And then on the surface of the heart would be the continuation of that membrane, and that would be the visceral pericardium. So that area right here above that would be the mediastinum. We won't get into the naming these blood vessels, as you will get into that in a later class. Now below the diaphragm, you can see the large liver right here, stomach, spleen, the ascending colon, the transverse colon, and the descending colon, also known as your large intestine, and your small intestine. If we remove that, You can see the mesenteries or connective tissue that supports the small intestine. You can see underneath here the pancreas that is partially cut open so that you can see the ducts. You can see how that's connected over here to the spleen. Underneath the liver, you can see the gallbladder here. And then you can see the left kidney and the right kidney. Down here is the urinary bladder and then part of that large intestine. So we will go into another really short video where I walk you through the different glands of the endocrine system.